Bob Rafelson is an American film director staying for the moment in Paris. He's the director of Five Easy Pieces, Stay Hungry, The Postman Always Rings Twice, and was also a producer of Easy Rider and The Last Picture Show. Hello, one moment, please. Bonjour. What's going on here? Are you Mr. Oui, oui. Euh, nous avons appris que vous étiez à Paris et je suis. Well, well, parlez anglais, s'il vous plaît. Je ne parle pas. We happen to know you were in Paris and. Yeah, and you bring a like camera. To... That's enough. No. Hey, we talk first. Stop. I'm not here to work now. No, just uh, a few pardon. questions about your life, your work, and yeah, maybe your projects. A few questions. Project. It always takes uh, more no, than no, no, a few no, no, questions. No, 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 a few though, minutes, you know. really. And, you know, it's a project for universities. There's nothing what to university? do with the, the press. What, un what university? Sorbonne, you know. And you and just shoot while we talk now? Yes, and it's, a, you know, yeah. it's a, between oh, us and... Wait, wait, one moment, s'il vous plaît. Huh? Huh? I'm speaking with the commissaire. Can you come to the yeah, we You asked me about technique. It's impossible to describe uh, technique, arrogant to describe your technique. But uh, what I'm trying to find always is the accident. Uh, the one thing that we haven't prepared, the one thing we aren't expecting, anticipating. In this case here, it's, it's just a matter of light. Each uh, shot, like this one here, takes uh, many, many takes to make. That we know. So, uh, and he, here. Uh, fix the mess. So. The jacket unfurled uh, once, yeah, and I said, Jack, do it again. It's consistent with this kind of image here, with shadows and dark, and that's the one thing. But before the jacket didn't slip down. Et voilà. Okay. So why did you pick Jessica Lange? For every movie, I do uh, a lot of interviews. For each part, maybe, uh, well, for this one, 147 actresses read for the part, 60 or 70 tested for the part on videotape. I went to see Jessica and... North Carolina, she was doing a play. Uh, she was on a telephone uh, when I arrived. I said, uh, do you want me to leave? She said, no, it's okay. And I just simply watched her for a half hour as if she was impervious to me, uh, uh, sitting and watching her. And I watched and I said, if I could get her to be as relaxed as she is now, she would be fantastic for this role. She would be central. Look. <laughs> you must work with the actors. Nicholson, for example, in this one here, uh, he wants to, uh, he's upstairs getting a heart on, you know, and saying to me, uh, quick, quick, Bob, uh, get ready to shoot. I'll be ready in a moment. I say, Jack, I don't want to see it anyway, you know. Uh, I'm not shooting a nude porn flick. I'm trying to make a, an erotic film without nudity, you know. And look, look. hand comes down like that, it's sensual, it's, uh, it's uh, erotic. But for dialogue, do you do a lot of indication? Do you talk? Do you mm. mime the, the It's different scene? with each actor. I'll tell you a strange story. A guy came in one time to my office, huh? and uh, he, he wanted to kill me. And the reason why he wanted to kill me, he had a gun in his hand. He, um, he entered my office and he wants to kill me. Huh? So I stand up, you know, like this. I stand up and uh, I'm scared to death, you know, because he says to me that I, uh, I made love to his wife. And the fact of the matter is that she was the last woman in the world that I would ever want to make love with, but this guy is completely convinced uh, that I screwed his wife. So he's got a gun on me. Now, it just so happened that he had wanted to be an actor, this guy, at one point in his life. And I, in my uh, office, there was um, a video camera, a small video camera. I picked up the camera like this, and I said, now look, if you're going to try and kill me, not many people can shoot their own murder. So I put the camera on him like this. Now, all of a sudden, he becomes an actor, and he's walking around with the gun like this. He's, he did more shit with the gun. He's, he's got the gun like this. He's got the gun like this. You know, he became an actor completely. And the point is that the camera transforms people. And the most important thing is to try to get people to be themselves on the screen, even though they are playing a part. Please, please come in. OK, you can just stand here, please. OK? OK, just stand here, and I will start. Okay. It's okay. Come in, come in, come in. Beep, beep. Watch. Watch. All right, come on. Huh? Come on. So what I'm trying to do come is on. simply to get a sense of how you feel the scene, just to feel some passion. Come on. Come on. Attends. <laughs> Pardon, un moment. Comme ça, like this, here. Yeah. Ah. 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 Ah
Okay, bene, 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 bene. Okay? No, no. Okay, fantastic. Stop, please. Attendez. Attendez. Viens. Fantastic. Oui, oui. Ah bon, merci, madame. Merci. Merci, madame. Merci. Pour moi. En français. Oh oui, pourquoi non? Pourquoi non? Okay. Is there another actress here? Camille, would you... Uh... No, 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 no. No, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's the same thing. C'est absolument ridicule. Moi, je suis journaliste, je suis là. Oui, 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 oui. Just for a moment. No, no, for me, for me. Moi, je suis pas actrice. Wait, wait, I am always on screen for you, so you'll be on screen for me just one time. Non, 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 non. Come on, come on, come on. C'est dans deux questions, surtout une scène comme ça. All right, cut, cut, cut. Attends. No, no, okay, 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 Camille, extraordinaire. You see, I knew you were going to be a good actress when we did this no, thing. No, 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 I'm not an actress. Yeah, I, I did it for okay, you. Okay, okay, merci beaucoup. Bien, eh bien, nous sommes place du Château Rouge à Paris. Raphaëlson nous a autorisé à le filmer pendant qu'il faisait ses courses avec quelqu'un qui n'a pas jugé bon de me présenter. Et on va y aller là. Did it ever occur to you that you were using your status as a director to seduce women? When I became a director, and I certainly had never had any idea that anybody was ever going to pay any attention to me, like my movies or anything like that, I'm still not convinced that they do. It was very, very problematic in my family life, with my wife and so on. Did people like me because I was who I am, or did they like me because I was a director? And it was constantly on my mind, until finally I made kind of a peace with it. And the piece was, I am a director, and it's part of what I am. And if it helps to seduce women, it's okay to take advantage of what you are. In the same way that you take advantage of being a journalist, after all, you're here. I don't like to think that a woman makes love with me because I'm a director. Because my vanity is such that I'd like to be a man, you know. But I also am a realist enough to know that you are what you are and part of what I am as a director. So, of course, I'm going to have that kind of encounter in my life. Do you consider yourself as an artist? Bullshit artist. Most of the time, I don't even think about it. It's dangerous. You do what you do. You make a film, you make a film. I think of myself as trying to learn more every time I make a movie and that I don't know anything about how to make movies. I marvel at other people's movies. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, obviously, but certain mm -hmm. pictures that I just marvel at. And, you know, I don't think I know fuck all about, uh, uh, about movies yet. I've made, what, one, uh, five movies? Mm -hmm. Five movies? I've made mm -hmm. five movies? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's nothing, you know? Why do you hardly ever give any interviews? I don't give interviews because I hate to read what I, what I have to say. I think it's boring as shit to read it. And You're doing one now. I'm doing one now because nobody's ever going to see it. That's why. Because it's going to be on some video cassette someplace, and it's hardly likely. And because you are interviewing me, Camille. So, Bob, are we going to fuck or not? I'm not to answer this question. Who are you asking it? You want to fuck who? Maybe Denise. You want to oh, fuck you? Denise? What was the question? So we're putting stickers everywhere, all over New York City. And at one point, Jack sees a chestnut salesman. The chestnut salesman is trying to sell uh, chestnuts. And the policeman says, no, you can't sell chestnuts, OK? So Jack, he takes the sticker like so, and he goes, boom, and he puts it on the cop's head. Two seconds later, Jack's like this. The cops are around. Remember, this is 1968, 69 like this, you know, and all of a sudden I'm saying, this is my big break, it's the big publicity opening, you understand, I can publicize, so I try to call all the newspapers, nobody believes, they say, where's the picture opening? Remember, I said, well, let's do it anonymously. El Studio Cinema, you're a Broadway producer, a movie producer, and you have a picture at El Studio Cinema, it's the first time an American movie has ever played at this Spanish-speaking theater. Since that time, I've had nothing to do with distribution. Well, anyway, I have something to do here. Huh? You know, the problem with you, Rafelson, is that you keep telling stories on and on, but you never make a point. What the hell are you doing, anyway? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Yeah, but well, what the hell are you doing? Nothing. Don't worry. It's just my calcium deposit. I have to do calcium it every... Calcium deposit? I have to do it every <laughs> night. Camille. <laughs> yeah. I love giving you interviews, I'll tell you that.
Your train leaves in 40 minutes. Where are we going? I saw this guy playing a saxophone in the park. He told me that here in the north end of Paris, there's this modern apartment building. But the tenants can't afford cars. So they rent out the garage space to musicians, semi-professionals. They practice here, as many as 50 bands at a time. Can you guys play for me now? Huh? Yeah. 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 Et pour madame aussi, danseur, danseur, merci, merci, musicien, merci, merci, ok, ok, let's go, let's go, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There is a success something that is important to you? Yes, but so is failure. In my profession, success is evaluated too superficially, I think. Will a limousine drive you to the airport? Will crowds wave you goodbye? legislate success. It can't be ordained. I try to enjoy the process. I try not to think too much about the results. If it happens that people respond to your work in your lifetime, well, you're very lucky. In some way, it gives you permission to go on making movies. But if you don't get the applause, well, there are other things. I mean, after all, there's your life to live. two days with him. Not a single thing he said was the truth. I learned nothing, but I got to make my first film. <laughs> <laughs>